DBP squad, let's go boys. I told y'all, 002 was coming soon. We have the Maverick DBP squad freedom shirt. Collection 002. Y'all absolutely smashed 001 and I can't thank you enough for the support, man. It goes a long way. And with the mess with Maverick lately, you know, the U-Haul truck, the egg, and you know, it's current situation and that's why you're watching today's video. I figured it was time to go get Maverick on a t-shirt. On the front of the shirt here, we have the DBP squad and as you can see, the words freedom in grabber blue. American flag here representing our freedom here in America. We got Maverick. Maverick and we got the blue stripe boys in blue you guys know my father my uncle appreciate y'all and then to wrap it up Booyah 002 if you're wanting to get your hands on a 002 you guys have to go now because there's only 300 We sold about hundred and fifty of them last night videos out right now. They are live go get them We have sizes from small to 4xl and this one is probably by far my favorite design to date So make sure you head to DBP squad shop right there on the screen or click the link in my description and go snag 002 Thank y'all so much fam and let's go ahead and jump into today's video We're pulling up now definitely a little bit nervous about this whole entire process parts of me are telling me this is gonna work out Just fine, and I need to stop tripping, but you know obviously it's just such an expensive car It's near and dear to me, so this really sucks in a sense, but we're not gonna let all that get us down We're just gonna take it day by day and there it is right there. Oh God Let me turn this around real quick, and we'll go see what we're working with What up man? Not much. Haven't seen this thing in a while. Almost forget I have it. Oh man. Yeah, everything else is all prepped and ready. Shoot. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna replace this once I put it. Oh my in. god, dude, no door. <laughs> this hurts my heart, bro. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I know it's in good hands, but just seeing a car like this. Yeah. Shoot, on pickup day, y'all can just leave the doors off. Turn into a Jeep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, what do you think, man? This is so heartbreaking, but this is what it takes, though, to just get it back to where it was, unfortunately. But. It's crazy that that's what 10, 12 grand looks like. Dude, yeah, what are we up to? It's gotta be, what? It, it's, yeah, it's like 12 right now, isn't it? I wanna say it's probably. And that's minus the PPF. That's not even PPF I say involved. It's close to like 13. <sighs> Have fun trying to find these. Really? You can't find one? Ford didn't even know what the was. Are you serious? So we just got to rock this one? No, uh, we got the replacement one. It only took us. Oh, you did find the replacement. Like three days to get it to get it figured out. Okay. The part number that that is on it doesn't come up in the system. Really? Yeah, because I think this is the only car that came with it. I don't think there's that's, another. That's what I told him. I was like, yeah. It's got to be Mach One only option and track car. Yeah. That's why it's got coolers. This motherfucker looks like it's ready to go drifting or some shit. Oh yeah, I kind of like the no door feature. I'm not gonna oh, lie yeah, to you. I, I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, one day at a time, boys. She'll be back. I got faith. Uh, look, She'll be make back. Make sure to have a note to make sure your paint's nice. Oh. It's metallic. Oh yeah, car is grabber blue metallic. Damn. So yeah, she's just about ready for paint, huh? It's going in right after the super is done. Next in line. Didn't mention this, but I mean, you gotta think that big ass U-Haul truck, all that weight and stuff. It actually, um, it messed up the cooler. You can see it's all dented up right down here. So we have another cooler coming, and I think this is the oil cooler. When this got pushed in, that's what tweaked the whole thing. Oh yeah. Dang. I'm just glad it didn't do any suspension. That would have sucked too. Like, uh, yeah. It hit right there. If it would have just hit. 
Oh god, I just got it freshly aligned and everything too. That would have I mean, sucked. Got lucky where, where it hit. Yeah, I really did. It tweaked this down just a little bit. All I had to do was bend it back up, and then it snapped this ear off. But other than that. Oh yeah, because this is a new piece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it this chunk that broke off? Yeah. yeah that was that you took out. Just that one little piece. And I would assume this this gets like halfway painted and re-cleared to blend, it's, right? It's gonna get blended, yeah. So he just he just hits it with a thousand. And yeah. It's so weird and seeing this thing with the bumper off. All right, Maverick. You take care, buddy. They're gonna get you all right. I don't know, maybe we'll rock the no door, kind of like the Jeep status. We're gonna get you back home soon, my man. Get you back home soon, all in one piece. I got a good feeling this car is gonna come back in very, very good condition. And that makes me feel a little bit better because the egg incident will be gone. The whole U-Hauls truck will be behind us. And then we can actually get back to doing our thing with the mock and you know, pick up where we left off. I still have the ESS blower going on it. Still want to make some NA content. Still want to take a road trip in it. Still want to get it on a track. There is still a lot I want to do with this car and there's no way I'm letting something like this, you know, get between that like I gotta make it happen and I just hope it comes back from paint looking awesome you know all the body lines are good to go they got all fresh parts on there all OEM parts which is super important and thankfully it didn't really bang up too much other than the body panels um, you know there's no suspension damage nothing's like bent and needs to be pulled so there's always a, there's always a plus to some unfortunate circumstances and I think this one's gonna pan out and I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be good, man. I think it's gonna be good. Tell you what, though, it felt really good sitting in that car today. I missed that freaking thing, dude. The Recaros, the the Tremec, the 5.0, the E85, the full exhaust. I am missing my Mach 1 right now, but they even said that it's a possibility I'll have it back beginning of next week, which is crazy to me because I thought this process was gonna take a lot longer, but I'm also okay with it taking a little bit longer because I'd rather have it done right than be rushed. So that's that's the main thing. That's the important thing, and you know, fingers crossed this paint job comes out flawless because if that's the case then once the paint cures and we get the decals put on we're gonna have it PPF again and then all of this will be behind us and we can just move on tell them to bring out the PJ what's going on with you bro oh, no, dude, going through it a little too much to drink last night yeah, a little bit too much to drink I had a shitty breakfast didn't make it any better what's going on with this thing bro? I don't know dude you go figure it out as soon as I get the headers put in, I'm having this f***ing active exhaust issue. I know Sebastian was running into a similar issue with his active exhaust. Um, when I had my issue, when I would be driving, it would just randomly cut off and sometimes would pop back on. But there was one point in time, though, where it wouldn't cut back on. So I read some forms and stuff. And matter of fact, the fuse was blown. And what was causing the fuse to blow? Well, when you put aftermarket pipes on these, if the exhaust tips come this way out just that much. That's literally all it is. If it's not factory spec back into the place, which it never is, there's this, you know, body panel that goes this way, and since the exhaust is coming that way, the exhaust actuator harness rubs against that body panel, and it frays the wires, and once the wires are frayed enough, you hit a bump, boom, shorts it out, rips the fuse, and then the active exhaust stops working. So mine will occasionally switch over. It tends to be when I'm driving, it's the only time I can actually get it, or if I drive, then stop the car, turn it off, cut it back on, then I can get it clicked over. So yours so, is still switching? Occasionally, very rarely it will switch, but okay. it will. We're gonna check the wire first. I don't think it's the wire though, because like I mentioned, if the wire is tapping the metal, it shorts it out, therefore the fuse will be blown. And if the fuse is blown, you cannot, cannot change modes, no matter what. And it seems to me you're able to once in a while. So that leads me to believe one of the actuators is spazzing out, and this is kind of the same case that Sebastian was running into. Oh boy, dude. Yours is we can't even pull this. You're gonna have to get the exhaust taken down. Yours is a lot tighter. Oh, oh wow. dude, yours is bad. All right, so look, what I want you to do is put your arm where I'm at, and you can see the actuator right there above the tips, and feed your thumb back there. Yeah, dude, yours is worse than mine. Yours is way worse than mine. I had a little bit of wiggle room to get the actuator unplugged and to retape it, but just feel where the body, the body panel rubs against the 
the wiring harness. The main objective is to get that unplugged and then you, I tape the living piss out of mine to give it like, no joke, I think I put like that much tape, but his is so against it in there, like there's just no, there's no way you're getting that out without dropping the exhaust. There's just no way. When Tyler bought the car, it did already have the C to H pipe on, therefore the tips probably were already pushed against the body, which could have resulted in the harness already being kind of tapped out. Uh, we could check your fuse box. I think it's number 36. We can see what fuse is put in there because I want to say it should be a 15 amp. Not a lot of people know that it happens to these cars and it only happens on the passenger side. So if you're running into this issue, it's not the driver's side. The driver's actuator is in a different position, which I don't know why they didn't do it to the passenger, but only the passenger side does it. Okay. Yeah, it's a 15. No one's changed it. This one right here. Do I hear a part out? Who wants it? 40,000. It's already pissing me off and I just got it. We'll set up a combo package. Two Mach 1s, one that's beat up by an egg and U-Haul truck, and this one that still doesn't have plates on it. 60K, come get them. Give you 20,000, I'll take the 40. I'll trade you a Mach and another Mach. Just give me a 350. Who, who wants an even fair trade? Bring out the private jet! I started, I immediately got the alert that active exhaust isn't working, so. It's not letting you switch, is it? No. Like sometimes you can spam it and then it'll click over or. So Derek went to grab his keys and I was just sitting here and it clicked right into track. Tried it again, it clicked right over. It's just weird that it's not blowing the fuse if it's that, but all at the it same is time, weird. it is sitting right there on those wires, tucked onto it. That's what makes me believe that it's an actuator. Because it, it, they corrode, they're ass, dude. Like Ford's even, I think they have three revisions of this actuator to make this work. So it's, I don't know, I don't know, it's just weird. Good news is, it's working, and Better news is you guys haven't really heard it on the channel with the new setup, so might be able to give you guys a little sneak peek because we are going to be bringing the in-depth uh, comparison with the Cooks X and the Cooks H. Makes me miss mine so much, dude. Oh, stop, bro. Definitely a lot throatier, deeper than my setup. They both sound so good in their own way though, like. Yeah, I was thinking about doing the, you know, boiler attacks with the long tubes. They sound so good, but you don't need it, dude. I mean, that would be That'd too be much. That'd be really loud. This, I mean, this is, this is tame, but it's loud when you're going, like, when you get into it, it's fucking loud. You know, it sounds like a full-blown catless cat-back system damn near when, it's, when you're into it. All right, JB, where were you at? Oh, hell yeah. 440 a gallon. Oh my gosh. I don't love it, dude. You voted for him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> my ass. <laughs> you fucking ready sponsor? yet, princess? Dude, chill out. I had to get me some fucking gas station food. Oh I'm out here God, starving. Dude, if you tell me that's a taquito, bro. <laughs> right. A gas Sausage, station. Sausage, and cheese. Oh my God. Look at God. this. Dude, you know that's like a 10 year old dead pig that's in that. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god. At least you got hot dogs this time, not taquitos. Oh, I did. Oh my god. Sausage, egg, and cheese taquitos, dog. Ew. How about my dinner? He didn't invite Gross. me to fing breakfast this morning. That shit was trash, too. So, you didn't invite. That's trash. I'm gonna have to blur, like, me biting because people are gonna meme me. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the point right now. Every time I take a bite, I'm blurring it. <laughs> Cheers. 
She sounds good. We were sitting here messing with cars. He was like, hey, let's go to Golf Galaxy. Who said that? You said that. Hell no. Dude, you're like on board. Let's go to Golf Galaxy. Hey, I'll turn in my clothes. This man pulls out the camera. It's a whole different story. Oh, dude, you are insane, bro. He's lying. I swear on everything, he's lying. He's an addict, bro. Look at him. Notice how I don't have anything golf related on me, but he has his whole ass setup. Dude, look at this piece of shit. Yeah, change the subject. Good, uh -huh. good, good point. Damn, watch the clothes with the car. Bro, what about that? This bitch is loud for no reason, dog. Damn. What do you know? Our second home. Hooray. There we are. Fucking addicts. Oh, man. Worse than heroin. Call it black tar. That one work? Like, seriously, <laughs> why the f are we here at 2.20 in the fucking Saturday? We have all week to go, and we go at the busiest time known to fucking man. You see this truck? He's gonna ding my shit. It's hard to miss it. I mean, you're you hard on top of this, man. <clears throat> Don't even. What am, I, what am I doing? As far as Maverick fam, it's kind of where we're at with the situation. You saw the things taken apart and uh, it's going into paint today. So I would imagine probably next week Maverick will be back. The unfortunate thing about Maverick being back though is it technically won't be back because I have to let the paint cure for 30 days. And you bet I am not going to be driving that car without the PPF and with some fresh paint because my luck is I'll end up getting a rock chip or a boulder falling down a mountain. So we're not going to do that. We're going to play it safe. Uh, when I get it home, it's just going to sit in the garage until it cures. Keep the vibes high and with the high vibes, if you want to support myself, the channel, and Maverick, go get yourself a DBP squad freedom 002 it's on this sleeve hold on a 002 drop just went live on at DBP squad dot shop you're gonna want to grab them quick because they are flying off the shelf right now and once they're gone they are gone forever I know with 001 UPS ended up losing 77 shirts which then magically showed up at my doorstep one day and it was an extra 77 added to the original 300. So a lot of you got lucky and got your hands on one. Not in this case, man. All 300 came in yesterday. I have them on deck and this is it. After the 300, she gone. I appreciate the support. Maverick will be back. And speaking about Maverick, uh, his brother, Lucifer, we're going to be getting that car ready for Mustang Week. I'm very excited for that. I'll take a little vacation with the boys and stuff. And, you know, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. And I'm excited to see a lot of you all. So if you're going to Mustang Week, let me know. Try to link up, do some stuff, do some filming, and have a good time. Much love, fam. Deuces.